Despite what you've heard in paranormal stories, ghosts and spirits aren't only attached to spooky old houses and cemeteries. Evidence has shown that spirits can be attached to many different locations and objects, including roads and highways. Some of the strongest paranormal activity has been attached to roads around the world, with reports of chilling and unexplainable encounters with spirits and apparitions. This is Haunted Roads Volume 1. I'm Ashton, and welcome to the Haunted Corner. everyone, welcome back to The Haunted Corner. Today I have a special episode for you all. This is Haunted Roads Volume 1. Today we'll be discussing four of the most haunted roads in the world. And if you enjoy today's episode and are curious for more, Volume 2 is available right now on Patreon at the $1 per month level on up. So head on over there after this episode to have access to Part 2 right after this. Let's get into it. The first spooky road that we'll be discussing is Clinton Road in West Milford, New Jersey. This particular road gained its reputation for being the scariest road in America because of the spooky events that occur on the road at night. Clinton Road is a 10-mile paved road surrounded by thick woods. There are only a few houses along the road which makes it all the more lifeless and spooky. The winding curves along the road make it accident prone and strange sightings along the side of the road make it difficult for drivers to focus on the road in front of them. One well-known legend associated with the road is called the Ghost Boy Bridge. The bridge is located near a sharp curve in the road and is said to be haunted by the ghost of a little boy. Many rumored backstories for the little boy have been shared over time including reports of the boy drowning or a possible prank or a dare that went wrong and led to his death. Another legend states that the boy stopped to pick up a coin off the ground when he was struck by a car that didn't see him in time. People who have visited the bridge have reported that if you throw a coin over the bridge, the boy will throw it right back at you. Some visitors have reported being hit by pebbles or unknown objects when they haven't thrown anything into the water. And another visitor claimed that after throwing a penny into the water from the bridge, he saw the face of a boy appearing in the water below. The spirit of the boy is said to be friendly, even attempting to move visitors away from the road as if to protect them from oncoming cars. In 1905, a man named Richard Cross built a castle near Clinton Road for his wife and his three children. Eventually, a fire destroyed most of the wooden structure, but the stone walls remained intact, and the place became a spot a spot for teenagers to drink and party, and there were also reports of satanic symbols and rituals going on in the castle. Reports state that people have had seizures while in the castle, and they've also found unexplained bruises on their bodies and had strange visions after they've been in the vicinity. The city of Newark knocked down the rest of the castle in 1988 because it was, quote, an attractive nuisance, end quote. But the foundations are still visible, and several hiking trails lead directly to the site. In the 1970s, there was a safari-themed park called Jungle Habitat in the area that closed down. And the story is that not all of the animals were removed. And this led to people having strange encounters with unknown creatures as they drove down the road at night. One man reported that one night as he was driving down the road, he came around a corner and his headlights shined upon a monkey-like creature at the edge of the road. 
He claims that the creature seemed aggressive and the headlights shined in its eyes in an unnatural way. Apparently, this wasn't an uncommon occurrence, even before the park closed for good. Another legend surrounding Clinton Road is reports of unexplained phantom headlights appearing in your rearview mirror as you drive down the road. The lights appear to increase in speed and proximity before disappearing altogether with no evidence of a car to be found. The next spooky road that we will be discussing is Mona Lisa Drive in New Orleans, Louisiana. Mona Lisa Drive runs through the swampy lagoon of New Orleans City Park. It's said to be named after the young woman who continues to haunt it to this day. According to local history, a wealthy philanthropist donated money to create the New Orleans City Park, including a collection of statues to be displayed throughout the park. His only stipulation was that he wanted them to create a statue in memory of his daughter, Mona Lisa. It would be a Venus-style statue that would be located in the cul-de-sac at the end of Mona Lisa Drive. There are two different legends surrounding the death of Mona Lisa. One version says that Mona Lisa was in love with a sailor who often visited New Orleans, and she was more invested in their relationship than the sailor was. They would often walk together in the area that would become New Orleans City Park, and eventually he got tired of her clingy ways and broke up with her. This devastated Mona Lisa, and during her reaction, the sailor became frustrated and grabbed a hold of her. It's said that as she fought back, he pushed her into the water, and she drowned. The other version of the story is that the sailor loved Mona Lisa just as much as she loved him, and he asked for her hand in marriage. But... It's also said that her father did not approve of the relationship and forbid her from seeing the man again. She was convinced that she couldn't live without her love and chose to die by suicide rather than continue on without him. Several years after the statue of Mona Lisa was built, it was destroyed when a couple of young people crashed into the statue and knocked it over, destroying it. The pieces of the statue were removed and placed into storage, and it's said that this is when many of the reported hauntings began. Young couples would visit the New Orleans City Park to spend time together, and it's said that while they were parked during these visits, couples would hear the sound of a woman crying nearby, along with the sound of nails scratching on the passenger window before the sound would just disappear altogether. Other reports detail a woman reported to be Mona, dressed in a long flowing white dress, floating near cars as they pass. Guests, specifically male guests, are warned to be careful when visiting the park and the nearby lagoons because it's possible that Mona Lisa is still wandering the road seeking her revenge. For the next haunted road, we will need to travel down under to Wakehurst Parkway in Australia. Wakehurst Parkway, a nine-mile road located 26 kilometers from Sydney, is considered to be the most dangerous road in New South Wales and is well known for the fatal car accidents that occur each year. It's now also known for the unusual sightings that have been reported along the road that was built in 1939. Wakehurst Parkway has a history of being a dark and isolated road, which made it the perfect dumping spot of murder victims in the area. There's a section of the road where Wakehurst Parkway meets Waringa Road, and this area is said to be where most of the malicious spirit spends most of her time. The spirit's name is Kelly, and she is rumored to have caused many of the fatal accidents that have occurred on that particular stretch of the road. Those who have claimed to see Kelly have said that she will appear suddenly without a sound in the passenger seat, and if you don't tell her to get out of the car and that she's not welcome, 
She will take control of the car and cause you to drive off the road. Other reports of Kelly have claimed that she's been seen wearing a white dress and standing in the middle of the road. Before drivers have time to react, they hit the girl with their car before realizing the car actually passed right through the girl. Other reported hauntings along the road include the sightings of a nun. This nun is said to appear after drivers feel the sensation of someone else being in the car with them. Drivers have reported looking into the rearview mirror and seeing the silhouette of a woman in a nun's habit sitting in the back seat with bright green eyes staring back at them. Other reported hauntings on the parkway have been reported sightings of bodies on the side of the road that quickly disappear when they're investigated, and reports of electrical malfunctions with cars, including headlights that randomly go out and windshield wipers that stop working. It's best to use extra caution when traveling on the Wakehurst Parkway to avoid unexplained accidents and picking up passengers who really aren't there. The last spooky road that we'll be visiting is Interstate H1 in Hawaii. Interstate H1 is the longest and busiest highway in Hawaii. It's also known as one of the scariest and most haunted places in all of Hawaii. The construction of the interstate began shortly after Hawaii was admitted as a state. And a new, longer highway system would be added to the existing portion that ran through Honolulu's busy city. During the construction of the road, workers began to discover some pretty disturbing things. The first of which was a human skull. Eventually, they uncovered weapons along with more human bones. And along with all of these remains, the workers unknowingly disturbed the spirits of warriors who were said to be buried on the land. The hauntings began, and the company started noticing that workers who had these really great, well-paying careers were just walking off the job and never returning. The spirits of the warriors were said to torment the construction workers, causing issues daily, to the point that the job sites almost needed to be shut down on several occasions. One morning, the workers arrived to discover that a large piece of construction equipment had been moved two miles from the construction site with no tracks or evidence left behind. Following the conclusion of the construction, the hauntings continue. People who drive on the road report hearing the sounds of crying as well as the sound of drums beating even when car windows are rolled up. Others have claimed to see the apparitions of spirits standing on the side of the road and staring at them as they drive by. When the land was disturbed, it appears that the spirits of these warriors were disturbed as well, and they're still unable to rest peacefully. And that is the conclusion of Haunted Roads Volume 1. Thank you for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm so excited for volume two. If you're as excited as I am, head over to Patreon and subscribe at the $1 per month level. Not only will you be supporting me and supporting the show, you'll have immediate access to The Haunted Roads volume two, as well as Cruise Ship Disappearances part two, plus so much more. So head over to patreon.com forward slash the haunted corner to join right now. The sources for today's episode will be listed on the blog post for today's episode at thehauntedcorner.com. Check out the other episodes of The Haunted Corner available now wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts with new episodes dropping every Monday and Thursday. Follow us on social media at The Haunted Corner on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and TikTok. If you're enjoying the podcast, please be sure to tell a friend. And if you have a case suggestion or a correction to share, please send it to thehauntedcorner at gmail.com or submit it through the website. Until next time, be kind and take care of yourselves, and we'll see you soon. Bye.